You are assuming the role of president of NSCA at a pretty unique time in in history, and certainly in terms of this industry's history. Um, talk a little bit about like what do you see as NSCA's role during the COVID crisis and this these crazy times? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's certainly good timing, right? Um, I think that uh, staying true to kind of our our mission, right, our core values of, of voice, resource, and advisor. Uh, it still pertains to what's going on today and specifically uh, as it has to do with COVID. I think that, you know, we were able to put together um, some information, you know, use useful data as it were. There's plenty of data out there, but, you know, we're able to put some useful data together, provide that to membership, bring in, you know, our economists and, and talk about what's, you know, what the big picture looks like and then get down a little bit more granular um with some of the like the webinars we did um in kind of that advisory role i think you were part of a bunch of those um so i think it you know maintaining that kind of concept that that what we're about um specific to business survival which was really kind of the the key topic for uh most of the integrators um is how we manage through this process of, of a few months or however long it might be and discussions around how to maintain cash flow and things like that, but bringing people together, providing those resources, and uh, and being that advisor and, and connecting people, I think is is what we've done, and uh, I think it worked out pretty well. And you know, we're not quite out of this thing yet; we've got a little ways to go, but um, I think we've set the tone for our membership. Yeah, I mean, you're right; we're not out of this thing yet, and because of that, it's kind of hard to think of anything like in a traditional sense. But I do want to ask you, like. You know, take the the crisis element out of it. You know, this is your term as NSCA president, or um, or it's about to start. What what are some priorities that you have? You know, in terms of you know, like what you'd like what, like the organization to do, and any goals you have for the organization. What are some general priorities that you have? Sure, I think you know. First of all, I got some big shoes to fill. Right, there's been a number of great people to come before me here, and. Uh, especially since I've been involved the last uh, five, six years and um, and we've done some great things and they've, they've really pushed the envelope for us here as an organization. And um, I think there's a couple of things that, uh, that, that come to mind for that. One's continuity, one's diversity and, and one's agility. So, you know, I want to keep it simple, right? You can only handle a few things at a time, but uh, um, Continuity and the fact that we've developed some programs, um, we've put some committees together, we've done a lot of uh, initiatives, and we got to keep these things going because they've been fantastic. Uh, we've really gotten some good involvement from folks uh, all around the industry, moving uh, moving things forward in, in a lot of different categories. We saw that happen last year with um, uh, legislative issues that, that propped up, and you know we were able to quickly put together groups of people and and really attack that and uh, so i think that's a big part of uh, uh of what's to come in the next couple of years and then the diversity piece i think is covers a lot of different angles and uh, we've got different industry types uh we've you know we've touched on a, a bunch of different industries here in the past uh you know probably six months that are that have been kind of on the fringe for us um but as an organization, we can probably leverage, you know, more IT network centric type organizations and uh, benefit our membership and also from uh, our overall membership from from an NSCA standpoint. Um, we've talked, you know, ad nauseum about different types of business, not just integration work, right? Services and AV as a service and all this other, uh, all the other things that go along with that. So diversifying kind of your portfolio of um, of what you bring to the table as an organization. Um, and then, of course, people, right? We've, we, we certainly have some work to do there and we've put together that, you know, the Ignite program, which was a great, uh, you know, uh, a great thing. We've been bringing people into the industry and getting folks to understand what it's all about. And, you know, uh, it's been awesome and we can do a little bit more there to, to kind of push that forward as well. Um, and even just, you know, simply where that came to be through the challenge of finding people right now we've kind of flipped the gears there we're kind of done it about face now we have a lot of people out of work so 
how do we manage that? How do we network that back? And and um, so there's some things we can do there. And then I think agility, uh, if, if nothing else in the last few months, we've uh, realized that we need to be pretty nimble uh, and to be able to adjust quickly to our members' needs. Uh, again, specifically in, in you know this year, February, we were we were concerned with um, supply chain, right? So we kind of shifted our focus to be that uh, connection point to our uh, to our suppliers in the industry, and and you know had posted even their you know their supply chain updates on our website, right? And initiated a lot of conversations, and then very quickly that turned to a different direction. <laughs> you know, it turned into business survival, and we were able to pivot there, and then change that a little bit and bring bring our membership some some additional resources. So I think that's going to be the case for the next uh, short term for sure, but um, we're going to have to stay nimble and, and agile and responding to our membership needs. Yeah. And, you know, people probably know that you've been a board member on NSCA for a few years. And now as president, we at NSCA, our staff, you know, we're excited to work with you on those initiatives. And, you know, congratulations, Mike. We're looking forward to a great, uh, great term as president. Well, thanks, Tom. I appreciate it, and and I'm looking forward to that as well. And and we do. We have an unbelievably amazing staff and a great group of people. So, uh, I, you know, couldn't be a better spot.